Hi guys, Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip, I'm going to show you how to add screw eyes to polymer clay. Now, um, if you've ever made a polymer clay charm or pendant that you needed to hang something from, you need to add some sort of loop to it. And what a lot of people do is they will take their little uh, charm, in this case it's a little um, blueberry muffin bead that I made, and they'll take an eye pin, like this little eye pin here, and they will just stick it into the raw clay, pop it into the top, bake it, and be done with it. But if you've ever done that before, you'll know within a short period of time that, especially if it's on a charm bracelet, that little eye pin is just going to fall right out. There's nothing to grab onto that polymer clay. Now I have a tutorial on how to add eye pins. Um, you can just put a little bend in it and, and bend it into your clay before you bake it. But an even better way to do it, and it's even more secure, is if you use something like an eye pin or a screw eye they're called. And you may have seen them before. They're um, kind of an industrial thing that you would find at the hardware store. They come in a bunch of different sizes. I've got a little, little tiny one here. Um, it is only about a sixteenth of an inch across the hole if you go from the outside of the hole to the, or the outside of the circle to the other side. And it, I found it now years ago somewhere at some uh, jewelry supply place. Then this one here is one that I found at a hardware store. It is about, oh, it's about three eighths of an inch across. So around three millimeters or so. And then this one here is actually a Tim Holtz one and it is about a quarter of an inch across. And um, the nice thing about the Tim Holtz ones is you can buy little packages of them. You can get them in just about any store. I got these at Michael's. I believe, and um, you can get them in a, a different different finishes in small amounts, so you don't have to buy a big bag of them at the hardware store. Um, he has a sort of an antique uh, silver one here, an antique bronze or brass, and then an antique copper. Um, but there is lots and lots of places you can find screw eyes, and the nice thing about them is that they screw into the polymer clay and are very secure, especially if you do it how I'm going to suggest. Now, I'll show you a couple of examples of where I've used them. Uh, this one, first one here, I've used one of the Tim Holtz um, eye pin, or screw eyes in the top of a um, little pendant here. This happens to be a uh, one from a slice of cane from my leopard cane tutorial that I've wrapped some copper tape around the outside. I've also done some UV resin on both sides. So it's a neat little uh, pendant. And then I screwed one of the um, copper colored eye pins into there, or screw eyes. And then on this one here, this bracelet, it is made up of slices from my Happy Camper cane. It's a little uh, polymer clay cane that looks like a vintage trailer. And I happened to put the uh, screw eye right here on this side where it would look like a little trailer hitch. But nor you could put a screw eye wherever you want, but this suited it to be right where the trailer hitch was. And the nice thing about it is better, it, they're so much more sturdier um, than eye pins. So the twisting and the things that can happen on a um, charm bracelet, they don't get bent open and they also don't pull out because they're screwed into the clay plus there's a drop of glue there as well. Now to do this, there's a lot of different things that you would be that you might want to use as an eye pin in rather than uh, turning it into a bead or whatever. Something that's kind of awkward shaped, you might not want to drill it from an end to end and you may not want to add like a bail onto the back. So this would be a perfect um, case for a screw eye or something like this. This is um, a neat little piece of, um, oh what's this from, the uh, Aurora Borealis tutorial and this one would be a good one because you could just screw a, a hole right into the top here and then the little cane there. All right, so let me just show you how to do this. The best thing to do, and this is the same if you're adding a screw into wood, 
or whatever you're doing is to drill a small pilot hole first. You do this for two reasons. Um, as long as your drill bit is smaller than the shaft of the, the, the screw eye that you're putting in, then what it does is the hole will, will um, give you a place to start off because if you just try to screw it into the top here, it, it's difficult to get in. It can skitter around and leave kind of a messy hole. And if, depending on how the piece is designed, it could put a crack in it. Um, that happens in wood especially, you can um, get a crack in it. So you take a drill bit that is really tiny. Now I happen to buy a set here. This set was only like $6 and there's like a whole bunch of micro sized ones. They're actually um, meant for all the different sizes of wire. Um, and it was only $6 for this whole set. I got it at um, Contenti, which is an online um, jewelry supply store. But you can also find small drill bits um, at a woodworking store or you know a hardware store that kind of thing too their drill bits are everywhere but what i would do is i would start a pilot hole in the top here hopefully my fingers are out of the way and polymer clay is so soft that what i usually do to get started is just kind of push down on the drill to kind of put a little bit of of a dent in the surface and then i just want to screw down straight in because if you go in crooked you're going to end up with an eye, eye that, or the screw eye that goes in crooked. You also want to drill in a little bit shorter than your screw and like I said that you want it to be a smaller hole so it has something to grab onto. So if you drew, drill then you can just take whoops <laughs> jumped out of my hand. If you just take it, you can just screw it right in with your fingers. You can take a little bit. These are quite tiny. And then it'll just grab on. If you drill too big of a hole, what will happen is, is those little threads on the screw will not have anything to bite into and it'll just pull out. So I would screw it in first, get it right down to where I want it. Then I would unscrew it again and put a little drop of super glue, white glue, any kind of glue that's going to just keep it from twisting out. So I'm just going to take, this is a glue I got, uh, I don't know, rings and things, but I think a lot of those places have it. And uh, any super glue would work. Because you're, you're not really securing the whole thing in there, you're just kind of keeping it from twisting because the, um, the screw itself will hold in quite nicely into that soft polymer clay. So I'm just going to put a little drop of glue on there and twist that back in. I always like to twist it one time in and make sure that I've got the thing in nice and straight before I put the glue in and also to decide where I want it. Um, if this is a very large hole in the screw, and you can string your cording or whatever it is that your or your chain through it, then you would have it go front to back like this. But if you ha if it's quite small, this one isn't terribly large. Um, you can turn it sideways like this, and then put a jump ring in it. So in this case, that's what I did here. So I put a jump ring between the screw eye and the cording. And then it's easy to open and close and um, it's facing the right direction. So I hope that made sense for you. It will make a very, very secure way to hold on to your charms way stronger than just putting one of those flimsy little um, eye pins in that you just poked in. You don't want to, you've done all that beautiful work on your polymer clay charm and you don't want to lose it. And uh, so put in, you can find these little screw eyes all kinds of places in lots of different sizes and finishes. And with a little drop of glue, you're going to have a very secure charm. All right. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, do let us know if you liked that video, this video. <laughs> and if you've got suggestions for techniques that you don't know about, questions you have, products you'd like me to demo, and you can't find a video in it uh, that we've done on it yet, then make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments section below. Alrighty. So we'll see you next time and bye for now.